that moment when your day was going so good and then all of a sudden it completely shit the bed, you're probably saying, Adam, what the frig are you really talking about? What I'm really talking about is I came downstairs, had a piss, made a coffee, went upstairs, sat down, watched a couple of YouTube videos, dog started barking like crazy, came downstairs to that. That, my friends, is a soaking fucking wet rug. Yup. Probably saying, why is it soaking wet? Then you let Oreo out for a piss, puppy exploded. No, he's right there. He's fine. His bladder's fine. This, however, I put my shoes on because it's really sopping wet. This came from the old hot water tank. She's fucked. Yup. Right, fucked. Dead, destroyed, no good. Blew out the base, pissed all over the floor. Ah, oh, some bitch. So I had to like try and figure out how the hell do you disable the water on it. I've never had to work on one of these before or figure that shit out. And I had to figure that shit out. And that shit was not easy to figure out. No, well, I think dad's stuck. He's just leaving now. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to give dad a push. He's fucking stuck. Son of a bitch. Today has been a shovel? Yes. Okay. Today has been the word day of shit, people. Yeah. The day of shit. Get a shovel. The day of shit. Between the hot water tank blowing up and dad getting his car stuck in the driveway. Yep. Fucking awesome day. Fucking awesome day. Well, dad's still stuck. We tried shoveling, can't get him out. But luckily, if we have a good Samaritan here, he's gonna help us out to get dad's car out of the driveway so I can gradually make it to work. Going in super late today, but it's the way she goes. Alrighty, people. Dad's out. Truck saved the day. I didn't film towing, so I had to be attentive and tell dad to whoa, so I didn't, you know, crash into the dude. Just checking the tires, because today has been the day from hell. Making sure that they're good. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Man, one thing after another today, eh? When she rains, she fucking pours. So, I got the uh, hot water deck coming in tomorrow. I guess they're installing a brand new tank. I asked them for tankless. They said they don't do that kind. Son of a bitch. Because tankless will be fucking mint. You never run out of hot water again, right? But no, 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 no. They want to go tanked again. So it is what it is, and we'll have to go tanked. Frig it. So I got to be up at friggin' 7.30 in the morning tomorrow. Who knows, I might just say fuck it, pull an all-nighter tonight and just wait for the deck to come over tomorrow and swap out the new hot water heater. All I know is tonight when I get home, I got a friggin' slopping mess to clean up. I didn't even have a chance to touch it yet. I'm already super late for work because of this nonsense. Ah, oh, man. Well, at least it didn't explode on a weekend. Good thing I also had a shower last night. Because until they get that fixed, I will not be able to have a shower. Unless it's a nice super cold one. So, they're going to be in tomorrow, get that all swapped out. Hopefully that resolves the problem, because like Dad thought it was the valve that was leaking. And I said, well if it's the valve, why does the cold water stay on all the time? Like it's always flowing fresh water into it. And these hot water tanks have a special feature where once they get to a certain level, they cut off. They have like a, you know, it holds 75 liters of water. Once it hits 75 liters or 75 gallons, whatever it may be, that's it. She turns off the water flow, the check valve closes, and you're done. Well, in the case of this thing, the check valve was staying open. So it can't be the actual valve on the outside. It's got to be a component inside the hot water heater. I was caulking with the program, and that will need to be dealt with with great haste because I need hot water. Holy crap, I pull into the lane, and Buddy behind me actually accelerated. Like he wants to fucking hit me or something. It'd go well with today if I got into an accident. That would definitely add on to the day, you know. Oh, frig. Just, yeah, awesome. Tonight I gotta figure out how the frig am I gonna clean that water out of there because my shop back doesn't have the, the water attachment. I guess I could use sham wows, but they're pretty useless. I just did a three lane split. Fuck yeah. Kind of something dangerous, but can't really give a frig right now. Gotta go to work. Oh, okay, it's just an email. My phone started vibrating. I thought I was getting another phone call. Yeah, I called the, uh, the company that I rent my friggin' tank from. Told them what the problem was, and they're like, yeah, we'll have a contractor call you. 
within the next uh, one to three hours, not even like three minutes later, my phone goes off as the contractor. I'm like, holy shit. What do you mean one to three minutes? You guys are fast. And uh, she's like, okay, well, we'll send somebody over there tomorrow between 8 a.m. and noon. And I'm like, great. That means tonight I gotta go home to bed. Good thing I haven't had my coffee yet. Because now I won't have my coffee all day, and at least tonight when I get home, I'll be somewhat tired. So then, I'll be able to fall asleep right away, maybe get six solid hours of sleep, get up, go to work, or get up, let this guy do his work while I observe, because what the frig am I supposed to do? Let a warrior bark and moan because he can't get to the guy. Why am I signaling? Where else am I going to go? <sighs> Uh, I'm telling you people, joys of owning a home, joys of owning a home, oh well, we'll get her straightened out, we'll get her fixed up, it's the way she goes, luckily I have ways of making hot water for simple things, like ramen noodles and all that, I can just fucking fire them in the microwave, we're good to go, also I didn't grab anything for my lunch, oh man, Today is just a horrible day with a capital whore. Oh well, getting a new hot water tank, so that's pretty bitchin'. <sighs> I just don't know anymore. Sometimes I think renting is the way to go, eh? But then when you own it, it's your property. Renting it just means it can be even lazier. I called dad right away to find out where the cold water shutoff was and uh, basically coming back to last night's thing, basic troubleshooting, all I did was felt the pipes. One was hot, one was freezing cold, I followed the freezing cold pipe down, found something that felt like a tap, turned it righty tighty and the fucker stopped making the noises and I was like yeah. And then dad came over and he's like oh you got the water off. I'm like yeah I tried calling you but you weren't answering your cell and he goes yeah it's because I got stuck in your driveway. I'm like fuck off and he goes like yeah I'm like I told you to watch out for the driveway. Shady as fuck right now. So it's good for one car, but only one car. But like he parked it kind of cockeyed to get his car off the road as much as possible. Where I don't understand why he didn't just chuck his car on the side of the road. But you know, he thought about it afterwards. He's like, oh, I figured I could get out of here. I got winter tires. And I'm like, yeah, but the driveway's shady as fuck. And there's no way in hell. Like I tried pushing it. And on the angle that was on, it was like, you know, forget it. I was like trying to knock over a sumo wrestler. But, uh, oh, frig yeah. We're at work. So we're a little bit late, who the fuck cares? Three minutes late, gotta love that kind. So there's my fun for the day, people. Hopefully you enjoyed that, I gotta get inside and get to work. So until next time, guys, keep on vlogging.